Hey everybody, welcome back to Farming Simulator 22. Scroft here, and I'm back on Elmer with Beanie. Hey Beanie. Whoop whoop. Hello. We're <laughs> back. Guess who's back? Did you enjoy your week off? Back again. Not really, because I was working longer at work. <laughs> I know, but still. I'd much rather be doing this with you than, uh, yeah, out working, but... Well, that's a good thing, though. Gotta pay the bills. Yep, gotta pay the bills. Definitely gotta pay so the bills. I've got bills. I gotta pay. <laughs> so I'm gonna work, work. I used to be obsessed with that song. Yeah. At I, the I age mean, where I, I had remember. no bills. <laughs> yeah. No worries. <laughs> That's it, exactly, exactly. Right, are you ready for this? We're going to be looking after animals in this one, so this should be fun, because I know, you know, you you, you, you love your animals, so this should yeah. be kind of probably where you want to play the game at and how you want to play the game with FS, I think. I think when we start a survival series, it wouldn't surprise me if, you know, you want, um, yeah, some animals, so this will be good. I think we should... Oh, sorry. No, go on. You're good. I was just going to say, I think we should do a cow-free farm. What? <laughs> a cow-free farm. Why? Because cows. Ugh. Are you trying to break me? No. <laughs> you're, trying to, you're trying to destroy me? No. A farm without cows is not a farm. It is. No. Well, I think we should compromise. You can have some <laughs> horses and I'll have some cows. Mm, deal. Exactly. See, I'm fair. <laughs> Cow-free farm. I thought, you nearly, yeah. honestly, I felt my heart sink. But you have, like... <laughs> You know, just veg people, like veg farmers. Veg or... people? What are veg people? You mean vegans um, or vegetarians? <laughs> oh, no, like... Um, we have veg it? people. <laughs> <laughs> they only farm, like, plants. I couldn't... I've just done a 12-hour shift. My brain's not at functioning capacity. Like, like, you know, people who just farm plants. Yorkshire. Yeah. Oh, you're at right, love. Right. So basically, you're on about arable, like arable work, vegetable That's root crops, stuff like that. Yeah. But we can yeah, do all yeah. that. The thing is, with the survival series, we can do everything. Uh, we've got to start off with nothing, though, and then we just build and try and build this kind of like farming empire. Okay. Uh, but we're definitely having cows. I'll tell you that now. No. Right. So in this one, this is going to be the last one. We decided that we're not going to do a up to seven we're just going to start the survival series after this so we're going to try and figure out the whole animals all the animals as well in this one we're just going to try out each individual one just basically want to place them down get some animals feed them make sure they're cared for and learn each animal and what what its requirements are basically so that's the aim of this episode and then in the end just have a bit of fun we might go and finish off some of the productions that have been ticking along just to make some money you know um, just to think what potentially we could make in the survival series even though it's going to be difficult and, and as we're doing this we're going to talk about the survival series because we've had a look together over some of the recommendations and I think we can try and come up with a bit of an idea of what to do definitely yeah okay. I think that's some good ideas all right right so I've where we're standing now this used to be a bit of that uh we did uh, what was it sorghum we did in this field so we did that big sorghum harvest it was the first massive harvest you did yeah so yeah, we've got this flat area here and we're going to place down some animal pens. Now we have got a cow shed and a sheep pasture, so we don't need to do them. But the pigs, chickens and horses, which is probably going to be your favourite, um, yeah. we're going to place down and we're going to learn each one. So that's why I've done this. But it's really useful for you to learn the, the building tool because of the fact in a survival series where we start off with nothing, we want to try and build our own farm. So you're going to have to learn this. Now, what I want to do is I want you to try and place down one straight after I first place down, okay? Okay. Right, so because when people are not going to see what you're doing, I'm going to talk you through it, but I want you to try and go through the menu with me as I do this. Okay, yeah. So you want to press the shop menu, which is the left one on your uh, Xbox control. So the right one I call like the options button, start button. To the left of that, there's a, a button that looks like this, like two rectangles yeah. overlapping. Press that button and you'll come into the the shop menu. Now, on the left-hand side, which tab are you at the moment currently? The tractor. Tractor. Okay, so that's vehicles. So down from mm -hmm. one is tools. Another one down yeah. is objects. Then mm -hmm. you've got packs and used vehicles and owned items and leased items and then mods and DLCs. If you go right to the bottom, though, the three lines, yeah, you'll have an option that says construction. Yeah. If you click that, like double-click it. I'm on it. 
So you should open the map now and see us from like, as if you were like a drone looking down at us. Yeah. Do you get me? So if you use your mouse with this, or you control, it's up to you, but I like to use my mouse with this one because I find okay. it's like really, it's, it's a lot better to use the mouse if you're on PC when doing this. So the zoom wheel is to zoom in and out on the map. If you hold the zoom wheel, you can look left and right on a, on the same axis you're on, so you're not moving, if that makes sense. Yeah. You can move around by just like going up and down across the screen, do you know what I mean? So if you go with the right, to hit your mouse to the right side of the screen, you'll move right, and if you move oh, with yeah. the left. So what you want to do is I'm going to place down a building now, and you're not going to be able to see it, but I'm going to talk you through it, so then you can go and do the next one. So at the bottom, okay. you've, you'll see that there's a few categories. There's buildings, productions, animals, decoration, and landscaping. Mm -hmm. Now, landscaping is really useful because you can, like, change the terrain. You can, like, flatten it out, level it off, um, and then you can, you know, make slopes and stuff like that. So that's really useful because a lot of the time when you place down a building, it terrains the ground. So it might make the whole building around it level, but then, like, you'll have all these ugly terrain edits that have gone all around. So it's really nice to sometimes before you place something down to flatten it out. So I'm just going to quickly do that, but yeah. you don't need to do that. That's just, just so, you know... It's good for when we, we do this now. Yeah. So, if you went to buildings, you've got loads of options like shared silos, containers, tools, farmhouses, and all that stuff. Productions is like if you've got production items, and we'll go through them probably as and when we do the survival series, we can talk through like what the plan is and stuff. So it's not as important. It's just showing you the construction menu and how to build stuff from here. So yeah. if you go to animals, which is the third tab, we don't need to place anything down for cows or for sheep, but you can see we've got options for horses, for pigs, for chickens. We've got bees. Now you can put bees um, and all they do is produce honey. You don't really need to give them anything, but if you're growing canola, or as we call it in the UK, rapeseed oil, um, mm -hmm. you can put bees around the side of canola fields and I think also sunflowers and you also get a bonus yield. It's only small, it's like 2% or something like that, 2.5%. But it's still something. It could even be five percent. I'll have to look back. It's so long since I've actually done this. But yeah, if you if you're doing canola and stuff like that, you can put bees around the edge of the, of the field, and you'll get a little bonus on it because they help with the crop, basically. Right. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so that's just a little nice addition that Giants put in on this version of the game, FS22. Uh, so what Probably we want to do? Bees. Exactly. B. Exactly. Beanie. Bee? See? Yeah. I've so always got bees. Exactly. So we should. We, we should. We've got beehives. What? Your mum and dad's? Yeah. Well, yeah, they've got beehives. Nice. It's pretty cool, actually, harvesting the honey. I bet. Until you get stung everywhere. Nah, you put on them weird spacesuit things and you sound. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I'd love... Well, you should probably wear one then when we're doing it, just when we're playing the game. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That'd be no. really good. I'll have to have, like, a little camera set up. We won't be able to see anything. It'll just be, like, a white suit, but, yeah. Why not? Yeah, that's it, exactly. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, we, we're not going to worry about doing them, though, just in this. We're just going to put down chickens, pigs, and horses. So I'm going to put down the chicken one first. Now, I just click on the chickens. I pick one. They've obviously got different prices and sizes and all that stuff. So I'm just going to pick yeah. one that I like the look of. And, uh, yeah, I don't want to put one too big because I kind of want to fit three things in this area. So I think the chicken one should probably be the smallest so I'm just going to put this one down here. Now, you can't see what I'm doing, but as and when you jump out this, I've basically just clicked it, and I've picked a spot that I want to put it down. It kind of shows and it highlights over where you want to put it. You, can, yeah. you press the left mouse button to place it down, but if you hold the right mouse button and then rotate your mouse left and right, it will start turning it so you can just place it with oh, more precisely. that's pretty cool. So I'm just going to place down the, the chicken one. There we go. It's done. So if you want to just place down now a pig one that's not too big and try and fit a pig a pig enclosure and a horse enclosure in the space that's left, okay? Okay. And then I'll watch it spawn in. Right, so that's the pig one that you've placed. It's a little bit out, but it'll be fine. That's, that's still good because we can get to the front of it because then trigger mark is at the front of what we need to... Yeah, that's where we need to kind of access. So we need to make sure we keep space... So you've got a good chunk now to put the horse thing down. Now, just just think about the space you've got. Can we get all, you know, all around the sides of it? Just try and probably get all four of the sides of what you're placing accessible. Okay. Um, I think that should be good there then. Yeah, and that's perfect. That's the best one you've placed Yay. yet. <laughs> <laughs> Fourth time lucky. <laughs> exactly. 
exactly. But no, that's that's good because now we can get access to it and we can get some horses in there and everything. So job done. So you get the idea then. If you jump back out, just keep pressing the B button. You jump back out, and you can yeah. see what we've done. So we've got the horses, we've got the pigs, and we've got the chickens over here. So I think we should start with the cows because they're already fixed. Mm. So if you follow me, we'll go through the animals over here now. What you need to look at when you, you obviously get to an animal enclosure is you'll have several triggers. Like this one here is to pick up an item, and if you open that door, you can see in there there's a milk tank and some milk tanks. Oh, okay, yeah. So that's going to be collection for milk, basically. So that, this yeah. trigger outside, this blue little uh, floating circle, that's where we back up a, a tanker of some sorts to pick up milk. You've also yeah. got the main important one, which is this, which is how to actually put animals in and take animals out. So it's like a paw okay. print, which is your animal trigger. Yeah. And then if we drive through here with a feeding wagon or a trailer of a feed mix, you can also see that this tip trigger, which you can see, which is like a, a, a you know a trailer tipping, is where we yeah. actually drop the food. But this, if you know animal, if you know like cow barns and stuff, you can see that this is probably going to be where your feed goes because it's a, a drive-through point where the cows can just stick their heads through and feed. Yeah. Okay. Makes sense. So now we'll just have a quick look at the menu. So if you press your options button, the opposite one that we've just been using for. Yeah. Uh, and scroll all the way on the left side down till you see a picture of a cow. Yeah. It'll come up with animals. Now you can see it says pig barn, small, and the one at the bottom's horse pasture. Yeah. Well, they're all empty at the moment because we've got no animals. So when we get the animals in, we'll get more information. But that's your main information section in the menu like that gives you all the i like every piece of information you're going to need about like how the feed's doing how the animal's doing all that kind of stuff's in this section so what we need to no, do first okay. is just put some animals in so i'm just going to go over to this animal trigger here yeah i'm going to put in probably like five bloody hell they can get up to 350 holstein of this what? so that's a lot of cows i've just purchased 10 cows now, this works pretty much the same with all of them. Like they'll have an animal trigger, they'll have a tip trigger. They'll usually have a, an inf like a trigger like this where it's to collect kind of whatever the, cat, the the animal's giving out. So the only things that don't do that really are, are pigs and... Sh uh, no, sheep give wool, chickens give eggs, cows obviously do milk. Um, horses, they just give you um, money every month for how healthy they are as if like they're paying a fee to, for you to look after them. So the more you look after them, the better fee you get so you you know it's simulated like that within the game um, yeah and pigs don't really give off anything but you can sell them so it's they're like a breeding animal now we are going to be using a mod where we can have baby animals and they breed properly so they have like a, a pig as a litter you know of piglets instead of instead of just like one piglet so it kind of makes it profitable to have pigs um, yeah we might even use different mods as well where we can turn them into actual meat products so you know you could sell like boxes of boxes of pork boxes of beef and stuff like that. there is a few mods out there we can use like that but base game that doesn't even happen like they don't even have baby animals and they don't have no. um anything like that there's no meat production or anything it's just the oh, really yeah it's just basic and it's a shame really because it could be more in depth but luckily we've got a, you know a load of modders that are actually changing that up and making it better it's some really yeah. good mods out there so yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's all about time and having the time to, to get everything sorted. So we need to do a feed mix. I think the, the most important is looking after the cows. I think we'll then go to the, the, the horses. I know you like the horses. Um, yeah. I think we're going to try and do that, aren't we, on the survival series? I'd like to, yeah. Yeah, so I think if we get the, the animals up health-wise, basically for the cows, then you can kind of understand what the other animals are going to be doing. They'll all just require a bit different feed and all that stuff so what we need to do first is we need to give them i don't think they require water in this pen but if you have a look again in that menu now you'll see some information on the cows we're not using any different feeding mods or anything like that. we're going to just stick to base game when it comes to the r series going forward so you can see the yeah. productivity is at zero percent that goes up when they've got feed basically if we give them all the feed they, they need um mm -hmm. then that'll be a hundred percent then they start producing milk you can put straw in, which gives the milk um, a little bit of a bonus, the amount you get, but also um, you get some manure from it. So if we had a manure spore point, manure would come out because they've obviously given straw. Same right, goes for slurry. Yeah. 
but slurry is just guaranteed no matter what as long as you've got cows in there because that's just the way yeah. it works uh, and then and obviously them two can go on the fields to fertilize so they're in, you know, a nice little byproduct um, but yeah that's the feed and you can see it's like total mix ration is 100 percent effective so you've got to think of mm-hmm. like each one is like a, a like says the effectiveness of that feed so if you just give them grass it's 40 percent effective which means yeah. their productivity will be at 40 percent basically um right if you give them tmr which is a mixer when we've got a few tmr mixing wagons out there which is what we're going to do then you can get 100 percent effectiveness and that's basically how it works now base food is silage hay is obviously hay um, and tmr is a is a mixture basically of all of them like you put hay in silage bit of straw so that's what we're yeah. going to do next. Now, normally, um, with some other ones, you'd have a water trigger that you're going to put in. But this is obviously kind of... You could just think of it as like mains fed. Um, yeah. You don't have to do it. It's just mains fed. So it'll probably charge okay. you a little fee. Uh, but I yeah. have got this out here. This over here. You see it? This is yeah. a water tank. So if you came up to it with a tanker, you could fill it up from water. Like water. Okay. Cool. So like a water butt. Exactly. Now, over here, I've just spawned in a few animal things that we'll probably use along the way. Yeah. There you I'm are. here. Right, so here we've got a Joskin liquid tanker. So that's what I said, you know, if you wanted to fill it with water. Yeah. This one's a feed mixer, so that can do the TMR, but it's a yeah. small one. This one's a straw blower, this Teagle one. So it blows straw bedding into the animal pens. Yeah. This is another straw blower, but it's just bigger. It holds more. And then this is a TMR mixer that's a lot bigger. So if you want to get into this, like, hooked up, so if you get one of the tractors, one of them case tractors over there, the small ones, if you just get hooked up to this small feed mixer over here... Yeah. And then we can do a bit of a feed mix. Okay. Oh, I'm going to crash into the chickens. And right, I'll, I'll let you figure out what you're doing. I'll get uh, hooked up to probably the straw blower. Okay. I know it's a lot of information to to get in, but as long as you kind of understand the main elements of the animals, which is, you know, you've got to feed them, look after them, and if you do, everything's okay. Yeah. So if you open the F1 menu now, you'll get like, it's like a recipe on the left-hand side. Yeah. And it should give you all the information you can to need, need to know what, what you're supposed to be putting in. Yes. It's got like um, something that looks like broccoli. Don't know what the other thing looks like. Something that looks like cauliflower. And then Do like want, dog just, food. If you jump out, uh, the first one. What? Dog food, broccoli and cauliflower, did you just say? Yeah. <laughs> What? And then there's like a spaceship, or like someone with grey hair with two little white arms, like white top on, like. Okay, I'm I'm so I'm so you've lost me so much. I'll be honest. I'm the looking. Symbols. Yeah, the symbol at the top is just hay. Ratio. First one's hay. The next one's the salad in one. a bunker. Yeah. Oh. That's hay, and the one yeah. below it's salad in a bunker. Yeah. The one below that straw, but like straw pallets or straw, and the one below that is mineral feed. Ah, okay. Um, now you don't have to give <laughs> straw or mineral feed. That's why it's like the the requirements. Can you see how it's like got like arrows? Yeah. Well, you need to get them in between that for it to okay. be a proper TMR mix. Now, because the the other ones, the the, the bottom two are right, it, like the arrows are basically zero percent. You don't have to do that, but if you do put it in, you can't go over. Right, okay. Do you know what I mean? So the main yeah. two mixtures here are hay and silage. So if you remember, we've put a load of hay bales over there, the alfalfa ones. Yeah. So if you go and get one of them tally handlers over here that I've spawned in, yeah. pick up a bale of hay, and then I'll spawn in some silage bales for you, because we didn't do silage. Make sure you kind of put it into the feed mix, okay? Okay. Uh, you remember the, the the mixture though you can't go over so you need to know like your capacity and I, if I try and just give you some information on that now just to help you it's it's not going to be very it's not straightforward to do basically if you haven't done it before but you know you got to uh, tr- you got to try aren't you yeah so it only holds 
11,900 litres. Okay. okay. And one of them hay bales, if you go up to it, are 9,000. So you need to hold the bale over and only like let it take about half of it. Okay. Because this one requires more silage and hay. But if you do a 50-50 mix, you should be fine. So, Is it these green ones? Yes. They're the hay, hay ones. They're the alfalfa. Both of them are the same. The big pile on your left and the ones you're picking up now. So let me just go back and just confirm this. Because I don't want you to, you know, get this wrong. Um, so it's 12,000 litres, basically. So if you put in 6,000 litres of hay and then 6,000 litres of silage, okay? Yeah. So that bale, do you know how many thousand litres it is? Uh, no. Should tell you on the bottom left. Of your... Oh, right, yeah. 9,000? Nine, yeah, so you want six. So when that says three, remove it. Like, don't drop okay. it in, just hover it hover your forks over the top of it and you'll start seeing it go down yeah it kind of just automatically feeds into it um i'll jump into your tractor and what you can do is you can turn the feed mixer on which is what i've done you don't have to do that okay. but it just looks better because it's you know, realistic to have that and then i'm gonna spawn in some silage bales um So um. it should just start emptying in. There you go. It's starting to go in now. I can see it. So if you want to drop it further down a little bit again. It did go in and now it stopped again. I think you need to just flatten the bale out. If uh, that makes sense. Okay. Like, and then lift up a bit. Yeah. If you just drop it until it starts. There you go. There see? we go. Oh gosh, it goes quite quick, doesn't it? Yes, yeah, so you want it to be... Like I said, 6,000. Yeah, okay. That'll do. That'll do. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. Okay. And if you just pick up one of these silage bales next. Yeah. Uh, just drop that anywhere. You can drop it next to this if you want when you pick it up. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, these are nice to turn, Skills. aren't they? Yeah, tell the handlers. So just pick up one of them. They are 6,000, so you can just put the bale in. Right, I can just drop it straight in. Yeah. Okay, so that's up. That's down. Oh. You just need to drive backwards, that's all. Yeah, there we go. Spot on. So am I going for the brown one? Yeah, that's a silage bale. It's just I've taken the wrapping off, so you can just come up to them and take the wrapping off them. Okay. So you only need one. Yeah. Uh, oh. Dab. Oh, wrong way. Make sure that's you're looking from the side, okay? Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> Believe it or not, I was. <laughs> so you can put it in from the, the, the rear if you want, like this side. Yeah. Diddly up and then down, diddly. Down, down. Oh. Haha, <laughs> skill. <laughs> <laughs> you got there. You got there. Yeah. Right, so now it should be a TMR mix, which it is. So you've got 97%, and you can nice. come and drive it. Now, if you want to go tip it into the trigger. Okay. So, I'll let you just jump into this one. Oh, maybe shot a bit. So, if you see the left-hand side of this here, it's got the, the kind of chute on it. You see? Oh, yeah. That's that thing, where it's going to come thing. out. So, if you need to make okay. sure that's on the, the side of the trigger. So, if you just follow me and drive through here. That's it. Just drive through here, and then when you see the trigger pop up, you should be able to start feeding the animals. Yeah. Uh, can you go? Oh, it's already come up. There you go. That's fine. Just drop it down. Right, that's why. So, do I need to move, or will it just do it? Nah, you're fine. You don't need to move. Uh, you can do if you like. You know, trying to be authentic, but it'll do the job. And as long as the feed goes up. 
then yeah, you, you're pretty set. But TMR is the best yeah. one for cows. It brings there eventually when times pass and stuff, you'll see the health go up to 100% and the productivity will go up to 100% as well. Nice. Okay. So that's pretty much all we need to do for the cows. We do need to give them some straw bedding. Um, and then you would need to give them water, but there is no requirement for water in this animal okay. enclosure. So that's that one done. I don't mean to sound dense, but where is it? Where's what? Food. It's uh, you can only see a little bit because you've you've not. The basically there's a capacity and you have to hit the full capacity to see it all there. It kind of just fills up slowly. So because it's only a small feed mix, you've put twelve thousand liters in. You know, yeah. it's, if you look in the menu, you can see that that's not even enough for a, the daily amount for ten cows. All uh, right. See what I'm saying? Oh, gosh. Yeah, yeah. They need 192,000 every year and 14,000 a day. Right, okay, so that's not even a day's worth. No, so you'd basically do, you get a bigger feed mixer and then you'd do, you know, like 30,000 litres each time and probably, you know, that'd be fine then for a couple of days and it wouldn't be too bad. It's just you've got a very small one, which is, you know, the starting one, really. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, that's about it. That's about it. Okay. I mean, I'll go and do the straw blowing, but we we should pr probably um, yeah we should probably kind of just look at the time. Uh, maybe do the horses and then the chickens. We can just put animals in. And I'll just talk you through in the menu what to do. Okay. Yeah. So I'm just gonna go and grab a straw bale. Yeah. I'm gonna put it into the straw blower. Right, so I've done the straw. I've just basically put it into the straw blower and a couple of bales, and then you have to find the trigger. Sometimes it's not dead easy to, to find where the trigger is, but it's basically just in the middle. Um, so we put the straw in. Sometimes you can see it, but again, it's one of them things where the more, you know, you have to try and fill up the, the kind of... The, there's a bar, basically, within the pen information section. You can see that I've only just filled up a tiny bit. It's still in red. Yeah. So if that goes full, then you might see something. Same with the feed, like you're asking me where it is. You can just about see it on the floor here, underneath you. There's a tiny amount of it. Oh, that there. Yeah, so that. imagine if that uh, okay. was full and you filled the whole animal pen up with the amount of feed that it can take, then it would yeah. go all the way up against this wall, all the way up to the top here, you'd see it. Right, yeah. It's just because we, we haven't filled up that much. But at the end of the day, they've still got a bit of feed. They've got a bit of straw. You know, they're quite happy. And them cows now, because they don't require water, are sorted. So they start producing, like, slurry, they start producing manure and milk, and then these cows would just be happy. So we just have to keep checking on them and so on. And then, you know, as they yeah. breed, as they started breeding, they'd have calves and heifers, and then, you know, you'd have ones that are milking and stuff like that. So you can, you can do a lot more then. Um, but it just, we'll get into that when we start, you know, working on, yeah. the, on our own animals. Uh, so let's just go and quickly... Let's put some animals in all these kind of uh, triggers. Yeah. So I'm going to just put a load of chickens in. Well, I say a load. I'm just going to put 10 in there. Same with the pigs. Um, and we're not going to actually feed them. It's just so you can see what the the information gives. Uh, but the horses yeah. we will try and do something with because if you can find the triggers, I know... I just don't know if you... what I'm looking for... I know the animal one was that way behind me, the other way. They're just smaller. That's the feed trigger. Oh. So the animal uh. one's over here. Oh. There you oh, go. wow, I missed that one, yeah. Uh, so if you just want to put some 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 horses in, we can we can go through it. Yeah. Happy? Yeah. Okay. There we go. Job done then. There we go. Yeah? Yeah. You got four. Yeah. A couple of foals and a couple of horses. Two mares, two foals. Radio. Right so we'll get into that. I, what I'll first do is I'll just bring up the menu again, the animal menu. You'll see that we'll have pigs, chickens, as well as the cows we just looked at. And then obviously you've got these four horses that are named. Yeah. So if you look at the animals at the top, the pigs going down, we can just go through it again. 
So yeah. they've got slurry, water, so they'll require water in that animal tr- that animal pen for the pigs. Mm-hmm. Straw again, which will give off manure. They don't do slurry in that one, but you can see that their base food, they have grain, protein, root crops. So there is a, like a – with pigs, you can basically feed them a load of stuff. Uh, now, when it says base food, uh, we uh, when we get pigs and stuff, I'll tell you what all that is, but it's just different. Yeah. Obviously, root crops are like, you know, potatoes and things like that. Um, and then grain, usually, I think you can give them sorghum and stuff like that as well. So there's loads of different ones for pigs. They kind of just eat anything. They eat every, everything and anything, really. <laughs> yeah. Chickens, We all we have to do with that, they don't want water in that one that I placed down. They just want grain. So usually that's wheat. So you just give them a load of wheat and then they'll be happy. They don't eat that much, but they give you eggs. They're really easy animals to get, really good ones to start off like in a survival series. So that might be something we do. Yeah. And then you've got the four horses. Now, like I said, horses are really different because they, you don't get anything from them. You just get a fee. So when their health is at like 100, then you get a fee that's the, the most you, um, you can get because basically it's like you've got some stables and someone's wanted you to look after their horse. So you're looking after it really well. Yeah. And because of that, you get a fee from it. So, they've so got it's like the, a livery. Exactly, yeah. So they've got the base food, which I think's oats. I think that's oats in the game. And then you've got hay and root crops. So if you feed all three of them, you'll get the 100% effectiveness. Yeah. And then there's three other things that we need to look after, which is the clean, how clean they are and their fitness and riding. Now, to get their fitness up to full, you have to ride them every day. Yeah. If you miss like a day, it goes down again a little bit. But then if you, you know, every time you ride them, it just goes up a little bit. Uh, cleanness is if you walk up to a horse um, if you just go up to any horse you want you'll see an icon when they get dirty it'll be like uh, you know like a horse uh, brush oh yeah it looks like one of them and you can just press B on your Xbox controller and it'll just like clean off the horse so that's one of the things you have to do and then you can ride the horse like you're doing now so that's something we have to do every day um, for a certain amount of time. So if I just jump on the other horse, and then you have different types. If you if you open the F1 menu, which I think you still have, you'll see that you can walk, then you can trot, and then you can canter, um, and then you can gallop. Yeah. And then you'll see that it says as well, like the riding. So I'm at four percent. Yeah. And it's going up. So that basically just means that. You know, every day, get them up to 100%, and then you've obviously met that requirement, so then the fitness goes up, and then they do the same again the next day, and so on. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Makes sense, doesn't it? It does. So they're actually a lot different to all the other animals. Yeah, I mean, to be fair, it was a question that I was meaning to ask you, and I know, uh, you know, horses and that isn't massively what FS is about, but... How realistic would you say, um, you know, the rest of the game is in comparison to, like, you know, how much space animals need and all that kind of stuff? It's to my personal opinion is it's neglected by farming simulator. Animals are neglected within the game completely. Like they just do the bare minimum. That really, there's a load of things that they should should and could do to enhance it. And a lot of the times we use, you know, as players. The mods is what makes it, like, you know, <laughs> um, a lot better than what it actually is base game, especially for the yeah. for the animal side. I, and I love playing the animal side. That's that's kind of like my way of playing. If I had a choice, you know, just to play for fun on my own, no, not doing content, I'd always go down wanting a dairy farm. Um, and I just wish there was a bit more, um, um, more game dynamics that made it, yeah, more immersive and felt like I could, you know being more in control of the animals side you know i want to be able to like properly muck out where i can scrape slurry and i want to the animals to have a bit more information on like vets and stuff like that so they have like you know treatments they have to do they need to obviously bring in like you know the calves and piglets and lambs as well as as base game because that's not even base game you know there's a mod that does that crazy i know uh so yeah it's, it's it's you know, it's good. You know, without it, we wouldn't have the game. So, you know, you have to give them that f- for that reason. Uh, but they're definitely neglecting it. And I wish they could, uh, for the next game especially, I hope they, you know, make it more in-depth and 
give us more options for animals. Um, but yeah, it's, it's still good because you've got pigs, chickens, cows, sheep, you know, all that stuff. To, and when you've got the mods, the right mods, you can have lambs, piglets, calves, and, you know, it's really good at that point. Yeah. Uh, and the feeding with maize plus makes it better because with that mod, you can then feed them like maize silage. They've got a bit more, you know, nutritional value, but I think it needs to definitely go further. Yeah, I think I I definitely agree with you there. Yeah. So we've now, like mine's at 100%, I imagine yours is too. Yeah. So if we just bring it back into the the pen if you do get off it outside it will spawn the the horse back to this pen eventually okay and then when you get off it you can see the horse is dirty now and you should just get an option i don't know why i'm not getting it at the moment but it should i think it's just because it's not recognized it yet yeah it, um, if can i can see just the dirt yeah but... i know it's a weird one because it still says the clean cleanness is at 100, um, but it yeah. also hasn't recognised that they're back in as well. For me, I've just got the two full, so I'm not sure. Uh, okay. I'm not sure what that is. Oh, no, not chainsaw. Oh. Oh. But, yeah, we'll leave it. It will yeah. it'll work itself out at some point anyway. <laughs> But yeah, now that we we know that's at 100%, we've been riding them, um, we just need to feed them, basically. Now, like, when we start off in Survival Series, if we haven't got the feed, you can just buy it in the shop menu. So if I just just spawn in a few things here see, for you to see, in the big bag section of the shop, you've got yeah. different uh, ones. So there's a pig food bag here um, that you'll see. There's also an oats bag, which is for horses. Yeah. And you got chicken okay. on there so technically here i could like bring this horse feed through um it's around the other side isn't it yeah and then yeah. i can just hold it here and give the horses a bit of food yeah there we go so they've got a tiny nice. bit of food in there you could also go and get some hay because they did um, and there's this trailer here if you want to go fill it up with some water for them that'd be cool this, so this trailer this one, yeah the josh so, again. yeah so if you just go and get a tractor and you know that water trigger you could use yeah. this john deere here and then that water trigger go take it to that fill it up and then just take it to um i think i think the We've water got triggers... chickens outside the pen have we they're having yeah. a, they're having a great time <laughs> day trip yeah so over here on the other side, a bit like where the animal trigger was when you were buying the horses, there's a, another trough, a water trough, so you could tip it into that point. Yeah. And then I think that is pretty much everything. I mean, like I said, we can go into it more in depth as and when we get animals that we're trying to make money off. Yeah. No, definitely. You know, it's good to know the basics, but... You know, can carry on when, when we're actually doing it. Right, so while you're doing that then, I think... I think there's not much left to really do. I mean, we could go into it more. We could go, you know, into each animal and what they eat and all that stuff. But I think we do it when, when we're actually playing. Um, so the only things that, you know, we could do now is just go sell a few things just for when, while we have a quick chat on the survival series itself and what we want to do and we still haven't figured out the map but i think the best map to go for would be something like an a, just an open area maybe like loads yeah. of trees grass fields just kind of very plain not something that's already got farms already built on it we i think it's best that we build our own place because then that'll be super cool that would be pretty cool um and I've seen a load of suggestions, and the one one of the suggestions I thought was pretty cool was for us to start with some kind of animal that we look after. But I thought that'd be perfect for you because we could get a horse, just the one horse in a very small horse paddock area. Um, yeah. And then we've got like maybe I don't know a camper van style house and really old equipment. I'm thinking like really old, small tractors, very small uh, cedar, maybe a plow. Uh, a chainsaw and then something to do a bit of logging work so it could just be like i don't know a very small um wood chipper for example and then that's our starting equipment 
and then yeah. from there we've got land but there's just not it's just all grassland it's not like we've got you know any um any like uh, proper fields that have already been done but also we've got no i think we shouldn't start with any equipment to mow grass we should start with equipment to make fields and stuff like okay. that uh, even yeah. though we're going to need some grass to make hay, but to, to get it, I think we should start doing a few, you know, some logging stuff to try and bring in some money to get a very cheap mower to make some hay to feed your horses. And yeah. then we go down the route of setting our own field and, you know, getting some money in that way for arable work so we can expand out. Um, I like yeah. the idea of that. So really, really old equipment. Uh, start off with a few, you know, Maybe just a couple of old tractors, a couple of trailers, a plow, a bit of a cedar. And yeah, yeah. I, think, I think that should be spot on. Good idea. It sounds like one anyway, you know. Yeah. yeah, you know, what's why not make it a bit of a challenge? Mm. I just need, to find a, just need to find a map that's got, like, tr like No Man's Land. I know you don't know what that is, but it was a map where it was, it, like it sounds, it was No Man's Land. It was a very open place, but it had l trees in it. It had... Uh, you know, a few little nice features like uh, it obviously needed a store but still for yeah. us to buy things from um, and it also had like a little pond areas but it was really good because you could just it was like a sandbox, a blank canvas where you could build your own farm from it and I, I like the idea of that and I know there's a few maps like that that I've never actually tried and a few people have made some suggestions in the last um a last episode we did where we asked and I did go through and make note on so I'm going to have to go check the maps out and what I think what I'll do is when I found a few good ones I'll show them you and then you can say which one your favourite is too yeah but as long as they kind of meet that criteria of we need to you know build our own farm we want it quite open um, I think that should work definitely I think it'll be fun I'm looking forward to it I am now I think that you know I've enjoyed you know showing you it alma but i feel like i'm just raring to go now i want to start it off because yeah and this stuff you i feel like you're going to learn better anyway when we when we start playing and, and now you know the shop and everything like that and terraforming don't worry i'll do most of the terraforming just because i know it could be a massive pain anyway uh, but if yeah. we want if you want to put some fences down or a few lights or decorations to start with you could probably practice with that stuff and then okay. when you feel a bit more confident, you can put, start placing down buildings and sheds and stuff. If you, It depends how you want to build the farm because I don't want it just to be my ideas. I want it to be, you know, our yeah. idea. Because I could say, right, we've, we this is our plan for the year. We want to get this much money so we can go and build this stuff. But then it could be your project to do. So you can go and build like the the new, uh, I don't know, shed for whatever, and a new animal shed, maybe some, for some sheep in a little area for them, and it can be your project to build, and then I could have my own little project, so when we've got the money in together, we then do this kind of building, um, and then there'll be parts that you've designed, parts that I've designed, but it's all together as one. I think that sounds like a cracking idea. Yeah, exactly, it's Definitely. teamwork at that point. Yeah, and I think, you know, when we get going and rolling with it and everything, you know, we'll we'll end up bouncing off each other anyway. And don't get me wrong, I'll probably still have a lot of questions for you because, you know, I don't really know what I'm doing. <laughs> no, I, well, you do. You've got much better at the game and you, um, yeah, I think it, the more you play it properly where you're in a tractor a lot of the time as well, you'll feel more confident because I know, you know, it's not straightforward enough um of the controller and tractor you just have to kind of get used to it so the more you play the more you'll be fine at that kind of stuff but it's about having fun and if we're, uh, we're playing this that survival things i think it'll be more fun for both of us than than this is because we're, we're just showcasing things and teaching little bits here and there it's chaos basically at the moment isn't it on here it's just chaos there's tractors yeah. everywhere none of it makes much sense at the moment to you because you know we we it's like we've got unlimited money we can do what we want and we've just got this chaos that's gone on yeah, I, it it just reminds me a bit of, like, at work, you know, when I started going through that training manual and stuff, I remember reading it and thinking, I can't do this job, I don't know what to sign myself up for. And then actually going out and, you know, seeing it actually being happen, happening and all of that kind of stuff, it was like, oh, okay, this isn't even that bad now. So, yeah, I think definitely it will start clicking and actually cementing a lot better once we, we start on the survival yeah, it Rival will map. definitely. It definitely will. I promise you. Yeah, it'll be fun. I'm also sorry. No, I'm just right. also interested in learning about like the management side of it because that's not something you can really teach too much like this, is it? It's something you know we've got to play out through the years or whatever. Yeah. Um, 
you know, actually managing a farm and the, what's the best decision to make here for this and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, well, the, the good thing about the way we'll start it off and set it up is it kind of already defines the paths you're going to take because you know yeah. you've only got really small equipment and we've got a horse. So we know we need to look after the horse, which means we need to get feed for it. But then yeah. we know we've only got like small uh, arable equipment, so we need to get some money in and that's probably going to be our best way. Um, but we also got a chainsaw for each of us and we can do some logging or we can go fill up the trailer with some, I don't know, some wood chips to go sell that to then try and get in some equipment to, to start the grass work off to feed your, your horses. And then, you know, we can think, right, we want to you know bigger plans are like we want to expand out so we need to buy a patch of land or you know we want to buy some sheds for storage or we want to get a salad for the the grain so we can keep it and then sell it at the best time of year and just instead of just selling it straight away you know there's little things along the way that i'll suggest and then you probably at some point you'll you'll come up with your own ideas and think i think it'll be really good now to make this but the basics is the bigger the field with arable the more money you'll make Obviously, yeah. you can do things to make it the maximum yield, but the more, the bigger it is, the more money you'll make. Grass salad is king. If you make grass salad, you'll always make a load of money. So it's probably always a good idea within a survival to make a load of grass salad as, as and when you can. Yeah. And just sell it at the best time because then you're going to make loads of cash and that's usually, you know, the, what everyone does. It's just the go-to. Yeah. 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 Makes sense. Yeah. That's it. We just have to kind of come up with some rules, though, because usually with the survival series, we can have rules. Now, we've got, like, difficulty levels, so we can play on hard, normal, or easy. Um, yeah. Each one defines how much kind of money you get for everything you sell. So what do yeah. you think? Uh, I think normal. You know, I don't want it to be, like, easy, like we're not actually trying to make it a challenge kind of thing, but I think, mm. you know, with it being my first time out in the fields if you like um yeah. i don't i don't want it to be too hard so it, you know it's a bit in a way discouraging because uh, you know you're trying to work really hard to do all this stuff so i think just normal in my eyes normal's probably the best way to go we're not making it too easy but we're not making it too difficult at the same time you know we can still reap the benefits normally it is then that sounds like a good idea to me what about leasing so can you know, like sometimes, like I've done a survival series in the past where I said I can't lease anything. I'm doing the one right now for court farms where I can't lease anything if I'm do, using the equipment for contracts, but I can lease it if I'm using it for myself. Um, it does give you a big advantage because mm. from the start, you can lease out like some of the best kit. I personally think we shouldn't be allowed to lease in a survival series just because it, it just shortcuts so much. Yeah. Okay. That sounds good to me. Okay. So we'll we'll stick to that one then. Yeah. Um, we've got the difficulty set. We've got the leasing. What about like making a bit of a challenge at the start by saying we're in so much debt, so then we have to pay loan repayments. So you've we got to have... work yourself out of it. Yeah, because we could basically, because obviously we've got all this like old equipment. We could have inherited that, but we maybe had to buy an old patch of land where there's maybe just a really old battered shed, but with all the land that came with it, and like we've put a, maybe you know imagine we just put a caravan on there or a trailer of some source yeah. what we live in but we still had to buy the land and we got a debt you know a mortgage or whatever to to get it so we could start with like something like that where you know we have to keep in mind we're gonna have to pay these repayments every every month and stuff but it shouldn't be enough to cripple us and then we need to figure out as well how much money we're starting with so okay. what do you think um i have absolutely no idea um because i don't really know what anything costs so i don't know what's like a fair amount. Um, okay. Uh, I think something that means, you know, we're not like, oh, we can't do anything, but not something that's like, oh, well, this is dead easy. We can just go buy whatever we need. All right. I think we start then with something like a like a, a £90,000 debt. Because yeah. that was the patch of land. And then we start with only 10000 in the bank account because that's how much money we had left after we bought it. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So yeah. we're in ninety thousand pounds worth of debt. We've got ten thousand in the bank, but you've got to keep in mind that every month we'll be paying some kind of loan repayment, and yeah. we might need to buy feed at the start for your horses, you know. But then we should make some good money off the one horse that you've got. I don't think we should start off with more than one horse, but hopefully, you know, over time we can you can breed out your horses and 
make a yeah. load of it. You know, you could get a massive stables with loads of horses in, and because you're riding them and looking after them, and we're both doing it, and then I've got some cows and everything, I'm making money off milk. We could even then go onto productions and ha we can make cheese and butter. You know, we could expand out, you know, loads really, and we can even then make our own animal feed. So if you know you're feeding oats to your horses, you can go and grow a field of oats, just a small one, just for the horses. That was pretty cool. Yeah. 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 I like the sound of that. Cool. Right. Well, I think we'll stop there then. We were going to go and sell some stuff, but I think with everything that we've done, you know, it wouldn't make too much sense really because we're just going to make a load of money. We've obviously got all that sorghum in the bin. Uh, it was like a quarter of a million. We've got the, the corn that's been drying as well. We've dried the corn out. I've, I did put some into, into storage to turn into... Uh, the fine corn flour as well so that's processing through oh, yeah. we've also got a load more uh of the pellets of i think it was flour so there is a load of things we could sell but it doesn't really make sense does it i think we should now focus our time so next week we're actually starting a new series um and i think it'd yeah. be proper cool we could even make a, a pretty cool intro if you want like a cinematic intro um Ooh, whatever you want to cool. do yeah yeah okay right. yeah sounds good to me right i'll let you do the outro then and then i'll finish off okay well, yeah. Thanks everybody for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, don't forget to give Scroft a big thumbs up and a subscribe if you enjoyed our shenanigans and want to see us carry on on, well, wherever we end up. Not too sure at the moment, but hope you enjoyed it and see you next time. Bye. Thanks everyone. Stay tuned for next week. We'll be definitely starting our survival series and I'll figure it all out. So thanks for watching. See you in the next one.